starting the recording. Recording is starting. Wash together. Everybody ready? Oh yeah, hey. Captain. <laughs> All right. Good. Shay, roll Arcana. Okay. While Shay descends, while Shay rolls Arcana. Good. Okay, uh, don't hide what to roll. <laughs> Well, she grabs her dice and rolls it. Uh, recap. Where we last left off. Uh, water sliding fun times. Woo! In the desert. How crispy is Nim? Um. Yeah, uh, Crispin. Nim's like that 100 layer croissant where the top layer is burnt, but the rest of it's perfectly fine underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just peel it off. <laughs> so it just goes. <laughs> all the ash just crumbles away. Yeah. The Zanzibar claps. Timekeeper, what's the time? Uh. I don't know. What do you mean, don't know? Look at your notes. It hasn't been brought up. It hasn't been brought up. We woke up. Kiala met some imp. And then we went outside to go fight a thingy. Okay, well, I think we were getting out. lunch after this, so it must be near noon. Um. I remember it being like nine. Yeah, it was like nine yeah. when you got out. And this fight definitely didn't take you an hour or anything near that. It didn't even take a minute. Um. Kiala got up at seven, Samson got up at eight. Uh, Nim got up like not even twenty minutes ago. That doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when Samson was up and went downstairs, he, I think that's when Yella started talking to um Hugsley. Was it Rugsley or Pugsley? It was Rugsley. Hugsley. It was Rugsley. No, I'm talking to Rugley for, uh, I don't know, D and D time, and free yeah. action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we went downstairs, did a thing, fought the fought the golem. So and that probably took like half a minute. It's, so it's like nine thirty, maybe. Yeah, it's like nine thirty. Yo. We've established time! Yo, 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 yo. Yo! I hate, hate to break up the important conversation, but um, on Thursday we will have the exact same number of sessions of the Saturday session. <laughs> this one. Nice. Yeah, session 46 is here! And session 47 is there! <laughs> yeah, also, last Monday session, until... Jade has to do a thing and we eventually switch back to Monday or some other day. Mm. Which we are doing. And hopefully, you know, Thursday we will not be on row 20 anymore. <laughs> I In got theory. so close to fixing it! Oh. Sometimes problems. Anyway, so, following what happened, following the last thing that was said, Nim has rolled Arcana, go impose your magical will on the golem. Or else we have to fight it again. <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> yeah, no, Nim. I don't think Nim would die this time, but you guys are worse for wear. I... I'm fine. Oh, Hiala would say that. she's fine. Hiala got... Hiala got destroyed. Hiala's level of fine is debatable. I... Hiala <laughs> got I... thrown around like a ragdoll. <laughs> we should teach Hiala that when someone else is normal should be when she says she's not fine anymore. <laughs> no, she's fine. Well, no. 
she is more than healthy. As long as we don't fight it again. She's more than healthy until a light breeze comes by. <laughs> yeah. Go do the thing! Do uh, the thing. Nim, exert that thing you have. A will. <laughs> yeah. I forgot my question, don't worry about it. I do a thing. Boom. No more flavor text to that? <laughs> She did the thing. What more flavor text could you possibly orb? need? Ah. Listen here, orb. <laughs> if we're gonna ponder together until you ponder, we're going the bear, to ponder, you ponder until you're nice. <laughs> well, it's a At the end of the day, it doesn't actually matter because you did meet the TC. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I figured. Yeah. So you, you just stand there and you just do the thing, and Zanzibar just stands there staring at you, going, Oh boy. Is it supposed to do something? I hope not. Well, I guess I, I, I was on a fighting call. I, I guess I missed a step because somewhere along the line, I suppose I forgot that I'm asking someone who has no concept of an internal will to impose said will on something else. Oh, can I do it? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure! Go show us your magical ability! Come on, impose your will! He, he right. just... <laughs> right, let, let's do this. I help Samson. <laughs> Roll Arcana. I help Samson. <laughs> DC 30. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, roll that arcana! Uh, it's gonna be so funny can, if he nat ones. He nat ones and the golem explodes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's actually really funny for it to take a long time. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's yeah. coming, I swear. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. It's because I have the atom armor on. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, take the atom armor off. Go, try again. Roll at advantage. DC 30. <laughs> <laughs> They're flanking the orb. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, advantage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Try again. Do you want to try? Why would I need to try? Fairness. <laughs> but this was always meant to be your thing. Yeah, where's the harm in trying it? <laughs> I just think it'd be really funny if everyone but him succeeded. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it will, but it'd be funny. Um, when I was like, if you don't want to, it's fine. She's just not a toe stepper, like Sam's. <laughs> Sam's, Sam's just out. looking for his magical breakthrough. You can't blame the kid for trying. I can, and I will. I poke it in the chest again. You poke it in the chest. It's still looking agitated. It's starting to look even more agitated. Somehow, uh -oh. gibbering its only emotional content is a crystal orb. Is this bad? 
You're trying. Look at Zanzibar. You're bread. trying to teach power, responsibility, and will to the equivalent of a rock. She's a glittery stone. Thank you. It's you not a compliment. Go you said glittery. <laughs> you have oh. the actual willpower of a wet paper bag. And I can't fathom how you made 17 years. Why would someone make a bag out of paper? <laughs> Does seem impractical for holding fish. Or like anything. Actually, it's quite helpful for carrying many things. She is right. Mm. Bags are helpful. Oh, yeah, bags are helpful, but I figured you want something a little bit stronger than, you know, paper. Which but, is yeah, already are they gonna make money resource. out of paper? No, huh. that'd be idiotic. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Exactly, that's my point. Like, you'd want something that can, like, you know, handle it. You want something that's fungible. Yes, mm -hmm. but here's the like thing. Like some sort of token. Rich people <laughs> don't actually like to walk around with sacks. Paper is their way of being fancy. Oh, so it's one of those useless things rich people do. Kinda, sorta. It doesn't I make sense to use a commodity like that. Uh, like, that's true. I want to say something so bad, but it doesn't help the conversation. Do it anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Ooh. Power. While this conversation is going on, the golem stands back up, and it looks like it's going to go crush Nim. Do it, coward. I dare you. Please don't. <laughs> time to kill them! Oh boy, Jack time! Woo! You got that character she ready? Uh, no. And you just see the golem lift its arms weakly above its head. And then you just hear a snap. Two, two snaps. Just... And then the orb Bad. just crashes through the golem's own body into the ground. Now! Bad! Sit! And you can see the orb just sitting there in, a, in its own little depression in the hardened sand. And it just looks like it's incredibly heavy. Be good! Don't kill! Today. Well, I see we're going to have to teach you how to actually be a living, breathing, thinking, sentient being before we actually get you to control something else. So this might just be a moot point at right now. So, kitty going home time? <laughs> As he uh, looks over at Hyala. What? Well, until she <laughs> learns how to actually have a want, a will, or impose it, doing this is just a waste of time. I suppose you'd want to go home, get something productive done, Unless you're going to sit here and help me teach her how to actually want something. Which... I want ice cream. Does that, that count? That I... <laughs> Which, now that I think about it, that wouldn't be so good. You want to go home, but you're going to choose to not do what you want, to stay here and attempt to teach her to do the thing that you're not doing. Can you say that three times fast? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> if I say it three times fast, I'm extending your I'm extending your moratorium on ice cream by two months. Man, I get really worked up about ice cream. I almost said you fucking bastard. <laughs> 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 
There's Dang. never been a more important fantasy ice cream than this right now. <laughs> Every time he's said no, I've been so weak. Well, I suppose I... as long as we're not fighting anything else. Uh... It's as good a time as any. Before anything, Zanzibar, have you gotten anything with that thing I asked you to do? You're gonna have to give the DM some help, it's been two weeks, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. This is like the fourth time I brought it up on my fucking arm. <laughs> when? <laughs> when have you brought it up? Literally, like, every time I bring it up, you ask me what it is I'm bringing up. Whisper me! What are you asking about? Check this cord! This is the thing y'all spent like 30 minutes talking about secretly. Yes. Oh man, I should have drawn the toilet conversation. <laughs> oh, that would have been so funny. <laughs> Gotta explain pooperies. How much time has actually passed? Like a day. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Uh... Give me a second, because I just realized... <laughs> The thing wasn't. The thing was the. Mood. Hey! So. Sold to the one with the hiccups. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you are the best existence. Ugh. Zanzibar kind of just looks at you and cocks an eyebrow. Then he just says, Oh, yeah. They're upstairs. Oh, they're done already? Uh, huh. We're fast. What's done? Well, when you don't sleep, usually you have time to get up and do things. I think I managed to maybe be unconscious for an hour total. That's a good night. I mean, as long as that's taken care of, as long as well, we get that done, I guess I got nothing else to say. Can you just see him pick up the golem arm? And then you just watch the black, icky ink pour from his hands around the orb. and just starts dripping onto the ground. And then he throws the golem into the sand where it reforms and it just somehow it almost looks shook spooked even yeah well at least somebody controls it now is I'm that so you to be like samson you did it of course it's me! Want a demonstration as he just holds up an inky little finger towards Samson? Uh... No? Aw, oh, but it might be fun! Think of all the mm. things we can learn if we subject a sentient being to pure, unadulterated, imposed will. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, Samson, why not? I, I like my own will, thank you very much. Oh, you could have more will. Come on! I, I don't think I want any of your will, Zanzibar. <laughs> he just starts holding his finger out and putting it towards Samson. Ah, ah, help me! <laughs> Snap. <laughs> ah! <Got> it! <laughs> Golem! Fetch! <laughs> he 
you just hey. see her. Boom, 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 ah, boom, boom, Keep that away from me. I don't know where that finger's been. <laughs> Enough! Bella pulls out some of her diamonds and is like, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's more things to get done. Like, you going home. Tomorrow. Unless you oh. suddenly don't want to go home. Not at all. I'm willing to head off. But why not do it after you rest up? You look a little uh, worse for wear. I feel all right. What's the nicest way to say you look like shit? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've been drugged through the sand. I think you should rest up. Zanzibar just snaps his finger again. Ah! And all the hard. Oh, I was on the wrong Holy layer! Crap. <laughs> yeah. we, got got, we got dusted! He broke reality again. What was that? He snaps his finger in the hard sand and just goes. All things back to normal. Ooh, and the golem just. Over. The golem just instantly plops down into like a cone of sand and you just see him start to drag sand into his being. So ignoring that. <laughs> it's almost wholesome. Like a big sand cone. This could only work in our favor, obviously. Ah. Uh. But yeah, and it's like, oh. later, after you have a long rest, a night's rest. Don't you have that spell that can make that go quicker? <laughs> Not today! <laughs> Actually, let me double check. Yeah, not today. I see. I'll be like, I guess the rest wouldn't hurt. If it can wait another little bit. I mean, technically, do the opposite of hurt. I told you I'm fine. You tell us a lot of things. Do you assume they're all untrue? No. But sometimes I get the feeling that you're just used to putting up a facade. Hmm. I think your version of fine is most people's I'm doing terrible. I can't imagine that that's true. Huh? I can't imagine that's true. Well, if I could be any help, she in fact believes herself to be 100% A-okay. Don't we all, though? So she's not mm. lying! My head kinda hurts. <laughs> I'm surprised your head doesn't always hurt. Why was his head always no. hurt? Because 
thinking is a chore. That's not true. Samson! Not wrong, that's not true. <laughs> What's six times eight divided by forty-three? Uh. All right, now that we have a few minutes... And then Samson takes that many points psychic damage. Uh, well, now that we have... More than one, but less than two. Completely wrong. I don't even remember the numbers I said, so I can't even <laughs> check the math. <laughs> it definitely would have been less than one. No, it's more than one. But less than it was divided by like 42. 43. That's a big number. No, because it was 48, it was 48 divided by 43, which is mm. one and then a little bit more. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Uh, I guess if you're not going back inside, I'll just go sleep here. <laughs> Joe's just gonna sleep in the heat. Wait, no, no don't sleep outside. But it it's would be scary. funny. <laughs> if it was nice and cool, that'd be one thing. I guess you just go back in. <laughs> like the idea that the golem's going back into. I'm in the wall. And as Nim goes, you just hear a snap and Nim gets held in place. Ah, ah, ah! Time for you to learn! Outside where the sun is, what if I tan? Oh, poor little changeling might get a skin tan. There is no better way to learn geomancy. And since your performance has been so lackluster, you're going to learn now. Besides, they're competent enough to be able to walk up a flight of stairs. Funky magical stairs. <laughs> As he just takes a pause and looks back at both of you, he's like, I think. I mean... I'm, I'm sure I can take on these stairs. They've done it before. Put them I up steps. <laughs> Samson pulls out a gun. All right. <laughs> you said they did it before, <laughs> and then I'm like, I didn't. <laughs> Those were the stairs that y'all carried him up. Yeah, but you also walk <laughs> down them to get outside. Yeah, but downstairs and upstairs are two different things. That is true. Two different beasts of burden. Dang! I'm in the side. Yeah, the door is around the other side of the building, but that's off the map. I like how you both managed to place your tokens in the same point within the fog. <laughs> you Fine. say that, but like, hello. <laughs> Run away! Meet. Me? Me. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> Samson Me. and Yala alone in the dark! <laughs> Who moved my token? It was Samson, Me. obviously. Ow! Uh, hey! They're back in the same place! You guys keep ending up in the same spots! I don't know how you're going <laughs> to think! The staircase isn't lit, we just run into each other repeatedly. <laughs> Face of meeting you here. So anyway, you run around the tower, open up the door, and go up the stairs? Yeah. Oh wait, I can see myself here, but not here. Dang Fascinating. It. <laughs> I'm safe from Samson. To... Ah! <laughs> Never! Okay, Meet. I'll just sit in the wall. Meet me. Ah! She's running away. What? She's running away. Make me. 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 Make 
could technically hogtie Samson. <laughs> Why? It'd be funny. <laughs> but actually, could you? Yes. So, are we are we just back in the building and Hill's going to bed? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where's the bed? The bed's like here. Well, yeah, you go up the staircase and, you know, the wibbly wobbly magic wagic stuff happens. And, you know, where do you, where do you guys want to go? Up, back where? up to the laboratory. Alright, so Samson goes up and the door opens. Where does Shadow want to go? Home. <laughs> to sleep? Where she was told to go? <laughs> to the bed. So to where the beds are? Yeah. Beds plural, what? <laughs> so, to be clear, Samson wants to go to the lab, Kiala wants to go to where the bed is. Yes? Okay. Hmm. Well, now I gotta flip a coin because I thought of something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go again. The coin. <laughs> Not the coin. We all hail the coin. Alright, so Shella opens up the door and is back in, you know, the house section. With the lab table and everything, and the Samson wanted to go to the lab. So Samson opens up the door, and he's in a really, really dark room, barely illuminated by a few crystal lamps. And you can't make much out, because Samson doesn't have dark vision, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, so it's very dimly lit. Thank you, mm. coin. Who needs dark vision when you have gun? Mm -hmm. hmm. Samson wants to smell the area. Uh, roll for sniff? Perception? I guess, yeah. For sniff. Damn it. For sniff. <laughs> for sniff. That's sad. It's Samson. Mm -hmm. Sniff Smells like Samson. <laughs> <laughs> you smell the smell of cowboy and sweat, and um, the air doesn't seem very stale. Hmm. And uh, it smells like Varisus in here. Yeah. Which that's... means this should be fine, and he's gonna light a torch. <laughs> so you light up a torch, and you see. In a very large room with nothing but like shelves of different alchemical ingredients, rocks, stones, gemstones, metal bars, some plants. Hmm. And roll me perception again, but for sight. <laughs> roll me eyes. Precise. My eyes are a little bit better than my nose. Yay. Now that you can see better, you see that all the very dim lamps have a little turnkey on them that almost looks like some kind of switch valve thing. It's Samson, so it looked like turny wheel. But we. Hmm. Let's see if this does what I think it might. And he's gonna turn it. Do you turn it to the right or to the left? Uh, to the left, slowly. And it gets dimmer. To the right. And... Still slowly. And it gets brighter. Ah. Oh. Hmm. I feel like it'd be a norm to do this all by hand. Oh well. And then he'll just do that to all of the other ones. <laughs> you just start and turning them all to the right. 
Yeah. How how much light do you want? Uh, until he can see without he can see fine without the torch. You do so. Hmm. I should remember to turn those off. It'd be rude not to. Um. Hmm. So it's all, it's like samples of like gems and chemicals and plants and stuff. Oh yeah, it is like the biggest ingredient shop you've ever seen in your life because the shelves are just packed with stuff. <coughs> so much stuff that Jade's choking on it. Oh. I can't believe you do that. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Noises. Um. Hmm. Now, where do I want to go? He'll just start like wandering around till something piques his interest. Hmm. I wonder if he's got any notes around here. I'll look for notes. Investigate for notes? Yes. So you come to... Yeah, roll investigation. Ah, oh, there's the investigation. You find a table with some papers on it. And some jars next to it. And, yeah. Does, does you pick up paper? Yeah, me pick up paper, read. <gasps> you swore you'd never do that again. <laughs> Samson did. Ah, only on Zanzibar would Samson choose to read. Samson has Literally. done more reading than anyone else in this campaign. Yeah. Samson is both the reader and the crier. He has done. No, Nim actually read a book every day until the journey here, so. Yeah. I mean, that was two weeks. I don't think you've picked up 14 books so far. This is still more reading than Samson's probably ever done in his accumulated life. That's you know, true. Right. We gotta give him credit for it. Yeah, stop trying to hog the spotlight, Miss No Will. He'll get over it. No, he won't. He's crippled. Anyway, you, uh -huh. you pick up the note and you look at it. And the writing's neat enough, written in common. Oh, thank God. Fuck, this be written in some other dead language. And as you're reading it, you, you don't understand any of the terms, but it just seems to be a, a list of what's in the nearby jars and items lying on the table. The notes are, well... Obviously written by Zanzibar because they read like Zanzibar speaks. Hmm. Well, these are definitely written by Zanzibar. Is is there anything he could recognize on this paper? Uh roll a D twenty for faith. Woo! Or old fake die! The old... There are... Four things you can understand on this piece of paper. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. One of them is... Uh, the first one... Is that... The jars... Have different things that from using some linguistic skill a real feat for Samson you realize that they're different natural occurrences of mercurium the second thing you understand is that Zanzibar is trying to purify it into pure mercurium that's two you understand that what makes the what makes uh, the other stuff is rock <laughs> and sediment and you recognize the word oil there's a 
for things. Hmm. Oh, this one must have been that thing he was working on for me. Well. No point in messing with it. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, are there any books in the lab? Uh, uh roll investigation. But <laughs> there are no books in the section of where you are. You're kind of in between mm. two large shelving units. Hmm. Well, I don't think sniffing around here is going to do me any good. How do I get back? Samson's going to spend some time looking for a door. <laughs> the door would be directly behind you. You kind of walk in a straight line. Oh, there it is. Unless Samson's going to get lost having walked in a straight line. As the kind of person who could do that, mood. <laughs> <laughs> who, Samson or you? Me. You could get... <laughs> That's... That's something. I am directionally challenged. Can confirm. <laughs> Can't confirm. Well, so confirm. I, well, I, I have two I yeses and two noes. So, where's Samson go now? Well, he's at the door. I'm assuming he opens it and goes inside. Mm -hmm. um, it's another closet. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll head back up to the... Uh, how do I work this thing again? I don't know. I want to go to where my hat is. Weren't you wearing your hat? No, he, he left, left his on the... hat on the on the side table of the bed. He... I thought he put that on. Nope, that's why he's had the that's why he's had the hatless token this whole time. Dang! I didn't read my HUD. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look for my Samson emotional state HUD information. It's not emotional state. It's just yeah, fashion yeah, state. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fashion. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, you go and you walk into the room. There you are. In the lab room. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder where Zane Savar put those. You could try asking him. He's not here. Hey Zane Savar, <laughs> where'd you put those things? Samson says to his brains. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh! They should be... Ask Tanakh. Alright. Tanakh, where'd you put those things? Samson says, in his brain. Why is there she yellow token? <laughs> ah! Uh, scene double! <laughs> Quick, hide behind the oven! <laughs> Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Trumpelganger. Ah, why are there so many girls? Quintuplegainer. <laughs> Quintuplegainer. There we go. World is mine. <laughs> Inside of every yala is another smaller yala. Inside of you are two yalas. One is emotionally <laughs> damaged. The other is emotionally damaged. You mm. are emotionally damaged. Nah. How many yala echoes are on the screen now? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a thing you're allowed to do? 
creating the Kiala NFT gallery. <laughs> oh, Mr. Thompson. Ah! Tim's just gonna blink me like, I haven't been drinking enough. <laughs> 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 Are we done? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Where's Sims go? No, he doesn't actually go see the mer myriad of Yaller. <laughs> <laughs> Yaller just lay out of the bed reproducing by budding. Just hi, 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 hi. Yala, um I kind of want to keep adding Yala's for when he comes back. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like a Yala hash induced vision. <laughs> Yala reproduces by budding. Anyway, so Hyala does what? Sleeps. She gotta get that long rest. She gotta get them zzz. And Samson! What's Samson doing? <laughs> so Zanzibar told him to ask Panak, so in his head he said, Panak, where is the metal? Wait a minute. Hey Panak, where is the metal? Samson just hears in his head after he asked that. Idiot. Ah! Right. Out loud. Hey, Panak, where's the metal? No, I meant like after you asked out loud. You just hear a residual idiot rocking through your brain. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it echoes. Idiot. 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 Idiota. And you just see, you just see a little red orb pop up from behind a couple of jars on a spindle of sand. And the little playful panache just goes across the table, just <laughs> kind of like a Pikmin, if you can imagine that walk cycle. Yeah. And you see him open up a wooden box, and you hear the clattering of metal. And he brings over five <clears throat> five gold necklaces with metal pendants on them. How many? Three! You're right. Okay. Ah, there they are. All right, I'll hold on to these for now. Thank you, little buddy. He doesn't, he kind of just stares at you, then he goes back to playing with things on the table. Samson goes to tip around. his hat, and then reaches for nothing, it's like, oh yeah, that, that's how I got back here. There's my hat. And Kiala's just on the bed. <laughs> Is Kiala curled up like a cat? Probably. Aww. On top of the bed? Yeah. Not underneath it. Not even under the blankets like a little indistinguishable <laughs> mound. Yeah, just on top of stuff. Like a true cat. What the Samson doing? Hold on. What? I'm holding on. I'm holding on to my big giant jumbo D6. There we go. Oh. I realized.
because the round one D6 is the same size as the jumbo D6, but with rounded corners. Quick clack. Rock. Quick clack. Ooh, I was banging the five sides together. Woo! I didn't even realize. Now kiff. Now kiff. Hee <laughs> hee. Dice more. Dice more? Hmm. I diced. is going to look over Fikala, who's <gasps> asleep. <gasps> and take her wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Check out those babies lit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bag she carries with her is mostly full of personal effects and not money. <laughs> That's so you, devious. So yeah, you get you get Hiala's letter from Nim, Hiala's letter from Rooney, Hiala's letter to Rooney. <laughs> Did you ever send me that letter? <laughs> you should ask if I've written that letter first. That was gonna be my next question. <laughs> it should be the first question, because I do have to do that first. Ah, what better time to do it than when you're never going to be on Zanzibar again? <laughs> well, I guess you could start writing it when you're not... when you start leaving and are off the stage for a little bit. Or you just sit here into the session and start writing the letter. That's not gonna happen. It's I have to I have to be in a quiet room for writing to happen. Ah! See. So, Wake for up. me, this face I write in is really important. So Samson goes to like pick up his hat, and leaves the room. He's gonna be. He's just gonna look over to Hill and be like, "I really hope this ain't the last we see of each other, but." Good luck all the same. And then he's gonna walk out. Nerd! Uh, he's going to pull out the, um, the old, um, war manual, move over to the short sword section, and then pull out his short sword and start practicing that whole thing. Samson does Sims martial arts training. Put book in one hand, sword in the other. Back to Nim! Yo, what up? <clears throat> totally didn't <laughs> joke, it's fine. No choking. Stop me? I will! Choking. That's not how this works. So we come back to Nim, pop a squad on the sand, ready to learn. What a good student. Nim's not sitting in the sand. <laughs> Look at your eye. Ah! Ready to learn. <laughs> Wee. I'd say it's simple, but this is probably going to be complicated. You see, unlike hydromancy, or pyromancy, or even cryomancy, geomancy requires concentration, focus. It requires maturity, being able to think practically. All of these qualities you seem to largely lack, which makes my job that much harder, but it's good because it should teach you how to be less you. I want to say just like my father wants it. <laughs> Let me put it like this. When you practice hydromancy, the idea was for your mind to be free-flowing. 
to not have a definitive shape, to let the water pass as it needed to, to let the magic flow as it wanted to. But with geomancy, you're moving rocks, stones, rigid, heavy objects. That kind of mental concentration requires that you be stern in your thinking. Logical. An Occam's razor. The simplest solution is the best, oftentimes. You have the mind and aspirations of a child. And that, unlike every other time I say the word child, is not an insult. You're imaginative, you're creative, you're free thinking. But all of these things don't help when you're trying to move the very earth. So the simplest thing is we're going to teach you how to change what you know about spell castings and foci so that you can do what every geomancer can do. As he just lifts up his foot and kicks it into the sand and creates a platform of hardened sand. Using the very earth you move as your spell casting focus. Is that simple enough? We'll find out. <sighs> Statements like that make me realize just how hard it's going to teach you, be to teach you how to. Never mind, I'm just depressing myself. Well, begin! Roll your arcana. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. So, what do you do? What do you try and do? Mimic what he did? Do something else? What's the aim here? My first instinct is to make a chair. <laughs> Do it. I Do it. Chair. How fancy is the chair? Not like ornate, but not basic. Nim's idea of basic. Yeah. <laughs> Make it regal. <laughs> yeah. I, I need a I need a, like a regal chair. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a picture. Alright, I'll wait for this picture because your analog is going to help me determine whether or not you make this check or not. For those watching at home, we're working with a 25. To pass, she needed above a, a 20 or above. But uh, we're going to see how many extra steps she decides to have. <laughs> It's an outdoor chair. And you're just making the sand take shape? You're trying to make rock take its shape? How hard? How soft? The goal is to be able to sit in it and not fall. To hold Nim's weight. And what do you do? Hand cast? Foot stomp? Do a little dance? Nah, Nim hasn't danced in years. Well, actually, she danced with Samson once, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What we'll do is we will gently squat down and pat the sand twice. You pat the sand, and you make a chair in front of you, under you behind Nim, so it's in the perfect sitting position. <laughs> the sand rises and takes loosely the Bless form you. of what you have depicted. With bits of sand, you know, slowly coming off of it, just draining back to the ground. 
It's gonna set our hand in the middle. Does it sink through, or is it solid enough to sit on? You know what? I don't know, so we should take out our old friend. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Coin? It is not solid enough. Your hand is pushing the sand down and out of the chair. How devastating. Do you give up on your sandy chair? I do it again. <laughs> Roll Arcana. Give myself advantage. I want this chair. <laughs> Same procedure? Mm -hmm. No changes? Uh, the goal is to make it sturdier this time. Well, of course that would be the goal. So, so Nim gives a third pat. Three pats. pats. And you go to press your hand into it? Uh-huh. Ever so slightly firmer. But the sand's still leaking out of the bottom of the chair. The old philosophical adage, child. Occam's razor. The simplest solution oftentimes is the easiest and best. Geomancy revolves around simplicity. This is a simple chair. What are you talking about? No. And he kicks his foot into the ground, and in front of him just plops up a pedestal of sandstone. This is the simplest chair. A flat surface <laughs> just sitting in the ground. He demonstrates Where's by firmly planting himself on the chair. Where's the backrest? The armrest? It's a place to sit. Sitting is the primary function of a chair. All other things are unnecessary. I would like to sit comfortably and not like I have back problems. Well, you can worry about that when you're proficient. Think back to your hydromancy. What, was, what did you do first? The simplest of steps. I made it pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Not at first. You learned control. And then you started making it look better. Do it again. So what you're saying is it needs more sparkle. I understand. <laughs> I will discipline you. I don't know what that means. Zanzibar <laughs> snaps his fingers, but it, it just seems like he's trying to snap it for the sound effect, and the golem starts walking towards you. They're upstairs, not down here. I will make you fight this thing alone. And I will probably die, so. And I can r revivify, resurrect, true resurrect. I can just bring you back to life as many times as I feel like it. Your that statement like is valid. Many steps. Sounds like too many steps. I had a feeling this was going to be the hardest school if we didn't start with it. From the top! And we go back to Samson and Yala. <laughs> Well, Kiala, who is sleeping, Samson, what's Samson doing? Uh, he's still practicing till he gets this right. Um. Well, more so the motion's right than, like, you know, the actual thing it can do. Do you want a bet trick for getting it right? Sure. Because as far as I know, you're just practicing a random short sword form from a very large book. No, 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 like, the, 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 the one that Zanzibar showed off, where he was able to cut the log by doing almost nothing. Cut the log? Yeah. The only thing I remember him cutting was making that big slice in the ground. Oh, I thought there was something he cut to, like, make a demonstration. Not just 
the ground. You're talking about the kinetic magnitude, uh, kinetic amplification Bingo. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, he just threw, he just threw the sword through the ground and made a big gash in the ground. Yeah, that's what Samson trying to, like, learn the motion for. Fair enough. You as the player know that without the actual magic component, that's not gonna do much, right? In fact, so does the character. Huh? Oh. So he's just practicing a pretty form. <laughs> My goals are beyond your recognition. <laughs> yes. They shouldn't be! <laughs> I have a DM! Well, I guess then we know our metric, roll performance. We'll start with DC 10 for getting it down shakily. Does Samson is pretty. Samson yeah. is tripping over himself. He does not have grace in this endeavor. Mm. We gotta get this right. Roll perception. Keep trying. Perception? Yes! So as you're sitting there, you notice movement out of the corner of your eye. And as you look over, you see Panak just in the same position you are. Looking at you, just mirrored. Come over here. We'll learn it together. And you just see his whole head tilt to the side like he doesn't really get what you're saying. Mm. <laughs> My first instinct was to start making geek noises. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Beep, boo boo bop, boo boo bop. <laughs> he was thinking the exact same thing! Does Samson actually mm -hmm. beep boop? <laughs> I wanted to, but I was like, hmm. No, because the last time he did that, Zanzibar called him like a racist or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which was literally earlier the same day. <laughs> So what does Samson do? He's... I mean, if Panak's not gonna get closer, he's just gonna shrug and keep practicing. And Panak shadows you the as you practice. Poggers. Is... is Hyala having any dreams we could visit? Uh, she's having a usual series of generic nightmares. Ooh, we should explore those. <laughs> Alright. What nightmares is Yala having? Man. <laughs> <laughs> you have interested the DM. What nightmares is she experiencing? Uh... We go to Yala's mindscape. Take it away, Jade. I have to think of something first. All right, a well, lot of your war stories are things I want to save for when she can talk about them. All right, we will sit here patiently and wait. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. You mean Thursday? What? Mm -hmm. We're having TOC four days this week. Cool. <laughs> of course, we're not stopping until Thursday. I thought that's what we'd agreed on. Oh yeah. I just have to dip up for my Your needs. definition of agreement needs, uh, needs work. Mm, I disagree. Set your <laughs> clocks. And there's your problem. Set your <laughs> clocks. Every, we're, we're taking six hour sleep shifts. Uh, 
She's, uh... She's fighting a... Aarakocra boy. Probably around her age. And, um... She's winning. He's, she gets him. What a what a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, she gets him pinned to the ground and is uh, ready to deal the final blow. And uh, the the boy is glaring up at her and screaming curses. And yet, despite that, the only thing she sees in his eyes is fear as she cuts his throat. Does she spin him? No, what? <laughs> what No, the that's only for the one you love. Shay. No, she has to go kill someone else now. So she hops off and goes about her day. Her war. Yeah. Powerful day.